Hi, I want to talk to you today about mindset, the way we think, the habits we create. We've got many outside influences, haven't we? Our family, our partners, our husbands, our wives, our parents, our children, our friends, our peers, and our colleagues. And at some point, they will all question what we are doing and what we plan to do. And this often makes us question and doubt our decisions. Once we start to have doubt over these decisions, then the commitment we've made to this particular task starts to waver. And then when it wavers, we easily weaken. And so the new habit is broken. So for instance, let's relate this to being on a diet. It's early January. You feel that you've put a few pounds on over the Christmas period, of course. So you decide to put yourself on a diet and a new exercise regime for a few days is going well. And you start to feel you're heading in the right direction. Then a member of your family, let's say your mum, turns up and she's made a cake. Now your mum's gone to a lot of trouble to make this cake and you don't want to hurt her feelings. So you try to resist, but you can't. So you have some cake. And now you've had this cake, which you promised you wouldn't eat. You wouldn't eat any cake during the month of January, but now you have, and it's only the third or fourth day in. You know you're going to do it again. And you know now that, that strict regime you created for yourself and those new habits have been broken. And once we've broken those habits, we break them time and time again. And then we find that the diet we were on is not working. So we have many outside influences in our lives and we have to find a way, of course, to, to listen to their advice and to their opinions and suggestions. But we don't always have to allow this to cause this doubt and uncertainty with our own decisions. So I want to relate this now to being a business owner. You made the decision, maybe a long time ago, maybe only recently, to strike out on your own and to create an organization that makes money. You chose not to work with someone else and you may or may have not chosen to employ people. And during the early days, I'm sure you would have had comments such as, nah, it's not gonna work. Why don't you get a proper job? It's not working. Aren't you lucky when in your own business? I bet you're on the golf course all the time. I'm not too sure which of these comments are the worst to be honest, but the thing is, People's perspective of what running the business is like are completely irrelevant. And without being rude, they're quite ignorant unless they've run a business themselves. Most of you have probably heard some of these comments before and maybe other comments that you can relate to. Some of you may simply ignore these comments and carry on with the strength of your convictions and I commend you for that. But for some, that doubt will start to go inside your mind and eventually overcome you and you'll begin to wonder about the decisions you're making. I've been there, I've been in the end of these comments, um, but I've learned to actually surround myself now with positive thinking people. I'm lucky that my family are very supportive, my friends are very supportive, and quite frankly, and to be brutally honest, there were people in my life that weren't very supportive. They're not in my life anymore. I know that sounds harsh and I'm not expecting you to ditch, <laughs> ditch people out of your life. Um, the point is, I'm trying to make is to go with your own convictions, make your own informed decisions because other people don't have the information that perhaps you have to make these decisions. So it's really important to create the habit and to stick to the habit, especially when you're implementing and maintaining a strategy such as Profit First into your business. If you were to speak to someone about Profit First, to someone who doesn't really understand it, has never read the book. You may receive some negativity or some comments such as, why open all those bank accounts when you can run it through a spreadsheet? Or it seems really pointless to me. Or sometimes another business might say, I operate my own version of Profit First. I've only got two bank accounts. I run most of it through a spreadsheet. Finding the strength to follow through with your convictions that you've already made and to continue the journey with the right mindset towards creating and keeping a discipline of the habits will see you succeed. Don't let other people's negativity affect the way that you feel you can move your business forward. 
And when we're talking about creating habits or creating that rhythm, it comes from setting up a weekly pattern of when you transfer out of your income account into your profit account, your owner's pay account, your tax account, and your operating expense accounts. The habit continues each week. And then at the end of each month, when you move the profit and the tax into the other bank, where you can't be tempted to dip into these funds. Just like being offered the piece of cake from your poor mum, who I've painted such a bad picture of, and I'm sorry for that, I'm sure she's lovely. It, you found in you to resist the temptation of the cake, which is pretty hard when it's sitting right in front of you. If you'd found that strength, you might still be on your diet. So by moving the money into the separate bank accounts, we remove that temptation and therefore the operating expense account can only have a certain amount of money if you spend. So your savings accounts build up and the profit first system will work. Thanks for watching this.